Hello, I'm Adrian, and welcome to Fight Scene Breakdown. Today we're taking a look at Bucky's escape from his apartment. Cap asks Bucky if he remembers who he is, but he isn't exactly ready to trust him yet, so he instead decides to take his gear and make a run from both him and the soldiers who are after him. Shooting an action scene within an extremely confined location like an apartment stairway is tricky. Not only do you have to account for dealing with the reduced space to set up your camera, you need to vary up your shots to prevent things from looking stale or boring. But we're talking about the Russo brothers who are masters of their craft and they glide by the scene effortlessly. Sure, it's not filled with sweeping glorious shots of the arena like the airport scene, and instead it's a series of quick shots highlighting specific events in the battle like Cap tying two soldiers together or Bucky awesomely deflecting bullets with his arm. But it works, for example. Here the bullet deflecting starts off with an over the shoulder displaying how the bullets ricochet off his arm. Then we cut to reverse shot of Bucky slowly heading towards the guard. And then cut to a wide that smartly travels with the slam to make it all the more impactful. Same format these directors typically use. Choose the shot and editing rhythm which best suits the fighting choreography. Pulling off a good raid escape sequence is plenty of fun. You want to show your character, in this case characters, barreling through armed officers in a way that is not only believable but entertaining. So that means coming up with specific choreography that plays to your heroes or superheroes strengths. For example, Cap uses his shield to deflect grenades and even insulate their detonation. Bucky uses his arm to deflect bullets, slam unsuspecting guards into furniture, grab a battering ram to add even more strength to his punches, and even as a climbing tool when he uses it to grab hold of an edge to prevent himself from plummeting to the ground. The scene distinguishes itself from other staircase fights because it makes full use of its character's superpowers. They can basically leap off floors with little to no consequences, so that frees up the filmmakers to do increasingly ludicrous moves, like using the railing as a makeshift swing to get to the next floor. A unique twist in terms of the choreography is the contrast between Bucky's recklessness and Cap's pragmatism. Bucky reverse elbows his guard into the glass and casually throws this man down the stairs. Cap quickly catches him with a perfectly delivered... Come on, man. To which Bucky simply reverse elbows another guard. Or in the beginning, after Bucky uses a guard as a makeshift elevator and leaves one calling for backup, Cap comes in to crush the walkie-talkie as if it were a peanut. Join my Patreon to get access to cool behind-the-scenes stuff and a bunch of other rewards. What did you guys think of the fight? Which fight would you like me to analyze next? Subscribe, and you can follow me on my Twitter, Instagram, and brand new Facebook fan page, Godzilla Rex. See you next time.